Here in the UK, we use what's called the three pin plug. You're going to find out how to wire this plug and the purpose of having the three pins. This is a plug from a school experiment kit and that's why a bar has been soldered onto one of the pins to disable this plug. The plastic case is a good insulator of electricity. Let's untighten the screw to reveal the interior. Here we can see a 13 amp fuse already sitting in our plug. Fuses are dirt cheap, so if you ever find yourself a blown fuse, one of these in the UK is just going to cost you around 20 pence. To wire a plug properly, we want the blue wire on the left, the brown wire on the right, and the green and yellow stripey wire all the way at the top. The live wire is responsible for bringing current into the electrical appliance. The neutral wire is there to complete the circuit, bringing current out of the electrical appliance. You can think of the earth wire as the protection wire. One end of the earth wire is connected to the metal casing. If, for whatever reason, the appliance develops a fault and a current passes through to the metal casing, it prevents you from getting shocked by passing the currents to the ground. Take your cable, strip around 5 centimeters of one end of the cable to reveal three wires. Make sure the wires are long enough to reach the pins. My live wire is a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim it down. Strip one centimeter at the end of the neutral wire to reveal the copper wires inside. Give this a good twist. Fold it down on itself. Do the same with the earth wire and the live wire. There is a hole in each pin for you to thread the wire through and the screw is there to grip onto the copper wires. The live pin sits just below the fuse, so I'm going to remove the fuse so I can fit the live wire in more easily. Tug on the wires to see if there are any loose bits. It looks good to me. 